Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, distinguished faculty, proud family members, friends, and fellow graduates. It's an honor to stand before you today on such a significant occasion. Today we celebrate not just the completion of master's programs or bachelor's degrees, but for a lot of us, the culmination of years of perseverance, determination, and growth. My name is Jessica Ware, and when I began this journey, I wasn't just starting school. I was starting a new chapter of my life, one that demanded balancing more than just textbooks and assignments. Like many of you, my path wasn't straightforward. Right after high school, I went the traditional route, and I enrolled into college. But after two years, I felt a higher calling. Yes, I still wanted to finish my bachelor's degree, but now I wanted to do it while serving my country. Joining, yes, Air Force. <laughs> Joining the world's greatest Air Force meant going to a technical school, moving across the country, and eventually deploying to an alternate duty location. By the time I finally walked across the stage to receive my bachelor's degree, it was 2019, not 2016, as I had initially planned. But as they say, people have plans, and then God has a plan. The Air Force taught me discipline, resilience, and the importance of teamwork. But it also meant that there were days were filled with responsibilities that didn't end when my shift ended. It meant long hours, night shifts, traveling, more classes. And in 2021, after the birth of my son, it now meant the constant challenge of balancing duty with the demands of parenthood. I still had higher aspirations to get my master's degree. But after another move across the country, I started to wonder if I would ever be able to obtain it. Then, a coworker introduced me to Western Governors University. He was boasting about a graduate program that allowed you to move at your own pace, one where you could structure your classes in a way that military tuition assistance would cover them. It sounded way too good to be true. I remember asking him, are you sure you aren't getting scammed? But I did my own research, took the leap, and here I am today. This journey has not been easy. There were countless late nights spent studying after putting my son to bed, early mornings where I squeezed in assignments before heading to work, and moments where I questioned if it was all worth it. But looking out at all of you today, I know that it was. We've all had our unique experiences throughout this journey, but today, as we stand on the threshold of a new chapter, we do so with a sense of pride and accomplishment. As we move forward, Let's continue to push boundaries, to challenge the status quo, and to strive for excellence in all that we do. And let's never forget that the journey is just as important as the destination. I want to give a special thank you to my parents, because without them, I would not be standing here today. You too, yes, you too. You too were on super grandparent duty and never made me feel mom guilt for the time that I had to sacrifice. I want to thank the coolest four-year-old I know, my son, Emil. His mere existence was a constant motivation, constant motivation, to keep me striving. I couldn't allow any of the time that we spent apart to be sacrificed in vain. I want to thank my home team, the Kansas Air National Guard, for fostering a work environment that not only supports the mission, but supports the people and promotes education. Lastly, I want to thank my sister Shelby for the friendly competition. Shelby is two years younger than me, but she'll be a medical doctor in a few months. So now I have to get my PhD. <laughs> I know I can speak for all my fellow graduates when I say thank you to WGU for providing this unique and flexible program. Some of us were able to change our lives in as little as six months, and that is truly remarkable. Night Owls, we did it, and the best is yet to come. Let us continue to remain resilient and persistent as we enter this next chapter. Thank you all 
congratulations, and God bless.